Oh. oh, hi, I'm currently busy building my new studio. My goal is to streamline my setup so that I can focus on the content rather than setting up everything all the time. So this week I want to share a valuable tip about working with SO or also SOIC, which stands for Small Outline Integrated Chip. If you watched my last video about digital potentiometers, what you didn't see was the hours I spent trying to connect this IC to my Arduino. These tiny chips can't simply be plugged into a breadboard. So while I continue to work on my studio, let me show you my preferred method of connecting this small integrated circuits to your breadboard. There are different approaches, but I'll demonstrate what consistently worked best for me. But before we start soldering, one thing that I didn't mention is if you have an adjustable temperature on your soldering station, reduce it to the minimum temperature where the solder just barely flows. These solder pads are quite delicate and they can easily lift off from the PCB if they're exposed to too much heat. Trust me, I learned that the hard way. Let me show you this step-by-step -step process. If this video is helpful, please, as always, like and subscribe to this channel. There will be great videos in the future straight out of this great studio here. All right, see you. The question is, how can you possibly connect something as tiny as this to your Arduino Uno? One way of doing it is by using a shield like this. Here you have the option to solder in SMD components like this one. And then you can access the pins here. But if you don't have this shield, then you can also do it on your standard PCB. You might be thinking, how is this possible? One hole is two pins. And that's true. Uh, in order to use this PCB, first we need to cut the holes into two pieces. So first I will find out which holes we're going to use. So, I will do it like this. Here you can see it fits nicely, barely touching the holes. You can also try it like this. But overall, barely touching, that's fine. Okay. And then you cut the holes. Like this. And then you place it Right. So now I cut all the holes and it should be possible to solder this thing in. I will use some sandpaper to make it easier to solder. Not too much, of course. Next step, pin header.
the next thing that we need is some enameled wire like this one in order to connect the pin to the pin header. First clean the wire. Right. I will also add a decoupling capacitor directly onto this board. It looks good if you like your breadboard don't do the next thing because this damages the breadboard my breadboard is already very disgusting so I don't care about my breadboard anymore and this makes it very easy to connect stuff 5 volt to this rail right here and I will use it a supply voltage connecting it to pin 8 if you learned something new please like this video and if you're interested in smart home hardware please don't forget to check out my esp32 power read and a sensor playlist thank you for watching see you in the next video